you are you are, I was going to say your home your village is getting an upgrade. Yes. Yeah? I hail from a fantastic village known as Gando. Eh, Gando is getting an upgrade. Yes, Gando will have a 60,000 seater capacity stadium. The president came to your village. Yes. On Friday, 1st of March, yes. 2024. So, yes, there, of course there've been a lot of discussions about what kind of facility that will be put up there, but the thing is 2022 it was launched by former president Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. Uh, but initially it was supposed to be a sports complex. So it was called the Jamuri Sports Complex. And mm. even the entrance there, it's written Jamuri Sports Complex. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming, uh, I'm, I'm yet to pass by near that area again and have a look at the, the, the sign that has been put outside. But it's going to be the Talanta Sports City. So most people are focusing on the stadium and understandably so. That is the focal point of yes. an establishment. Yes. But around that entire place, it's going to be a sports complex so when you call it atlanta sports city what does it entail what does it have so now the sports city they're saying first obviously the six thousand seater capacity stadium is going mm -hmm. to be there there's going to be also a, i think a running track outside at one particular point there's still a rugby pitch that is there they are going to have a, a training center so the rugby pitch is away from the football pitch so there's a rugby pitch up okando unless now the otaitoa equate parking because if you look at the design that was shared mm. by the ministry of sports yes because it's this is under their their mandate. Their purview. Yes. Pa fantastic. The purview. Bado niko sawa. Bado niko fine. So, what they want to do is, they want to make it a multi-purpose facility. Mm. I know you love athletics. I love athletics as yes. well. But I'm very glad that there's no athletics track within the stadium. Though it was mentioned mm. in the speech by the president. But I, I pray and hope that the initial plan still remains in place where there's no running track within the stadium. Because why, why don't you want a running I track? I don't. Look, look at it this way. I like, you see... There's a way having a, 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 a sports facility, especially for sport like football and rugby, where it is tough. There's something about it because when you have a running track, eight lanes make you feel detached from, mm. from, the st from whatever is happening on the pitch. Yeah. One of the main reasons why people still warm up to RFU Air, the KRU grounds, is mm. because of just that. Whereby, if you stretch your hand, Kidogo, Uneza Guza linesman, Uneza Guza the player. Especially for sports like football and yeah. rugby so for me i would want them to to stick to that because we don't have a dedicated a proper dedicated rugby stadium as well because i suspect this is a facility that will be also be used by kenyan rugby mm. for hosting games but my main issue is one look uh why sixty thousand seater why, do, why, why you guys do, like do, things grand why sixty thousand seater wokabi we could have comfortably done a nice 40,000 seater capacity stadium or even 30,000, half that same amount of people, and you still have the same level of energy. Nyayo is 30,000. When it's full, it's fantastic. I know Kasarani is double the, the, the number and it's fantastic, but you see, how often will it be used? Yeah, that's the other question because, because sustainability, and that's a key word in today's yeah, corporate world legacy. sustainability. How do you sustain the stadium? Yes. How do you do it? First of all, it's a great thing that for the first time since 1986 or something, for 40 years ago, that we are going to have a, a, a stadium built, a sports facility built in this country. I think that in itself is, is an incredible thing to do. Yes. So that one, I'm in, that one makes me happy. It's, it's a great thing to do. But on the other hand, I ask myself, um, 60,000 is a too big... I think um, it's massive. It's, true. it's unnecessarily big. Because necessarily, I think you renovate Kasarani properly and leave it as the biggest stadium. Mm. Make it as modern and as modern as you can. And, and world class because as you can. Leave everything. it like that. Then this one maybe make it slightly smaller. I'd have I'd settle for 40,000 max. So that it is not the same as Nyayo. But I'd, I'd also not mind 30,000 fans. I, I know why you don't want a track, and it makes a lot of sense from an atmosphere point of view, mm. but I wonder whether we have enough money to do another stadium that has athletics. Or, or maybe that's, we, we leave stick, it to Nyayo. We, we leave it to Kasarani. Leave it to Nyayo and Kasarani. Nyayo and, uh, yeah, Nyayo and Kasarani, Kasarani, yes. That's fine. Okay. Because, Wakabi, we, we, yes, we, we're telling ourselves, oh, we want to... Kasarani is fine. If you will revamp it the way you want it to be revamped... Yes, yeah. it should be fine. Talanta Sports City will have a capacity of 60,000 people. That's the stadium. And it's expected to be ready by December 2025. It will have outdoor training facilities, a standard athletics track, standard football field, and a shared rugby field. So I get the whole city, sports city kind of thing. Yeah. I hope it's built and I hope it's done properly. My question has been, let's do a real stadium. We've done too many... All these other stadiums we built in the last one year, we agree they are not stadiums. Now, 
True. And now also w- one thing that you ke- was revealed on that same day by the president on Friday mm. is that we are going to have a stadium being constructed in Mombasa. But now the thing is there's no definitive timelines. Mm. There's nothing clear that has been stated that this is how we're going to approach it. And I think uh, it was long overdue. I wish they would have said they were launching that Atlanta sports city in Mombasa. I, I, I really wanted a stadium in Mombasa. Mm. Ultra modern stadium. 30,000 seater. 25,000 even. 25 is fantastic. With room for expansion. But yeah. with a track. Yeah. That's fine. Modern day facility with a track and a warm up track because I want us to host our world championships and we cannot host it with our relic at Kasarani and at high altitude we we are disadvantaged. You need to do it at a stadium that is at sea level in the month of August 2029 for example. Mm. So we do a nice good stadium 25,000 ultra modern with great camera angles with great for broadcast complete with the, cables the running somewhere in the background when yeah. you have an aerial drone shot yes you can do from the like like when you do the the, the cape town stadium the way they do you it. Know, Kabi, i was privileged 2011 yes i was an i did a helicopter ride mm. so i was i did a helicopter ride uh, so where i looked at the cape town stadium i was just looking at it on one side is the ocean on one, the other side is the table mountains imagine, imagine something like that in mombasa like you do something. That's that I feel I because I really feel our athletes need some. And here's the thing. We don't need a stadium in Iten and a stadium in Kamarin and a stadium in Eldoret and no. a sta- no, no 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 no. You just need trucks. Come and let you alone. Eh. Do that in Kamarin. Eldoret, do the stadium so that you can do trials there. Um like you, you, I think we need to stratify the needs yeah, for the stadiums. So the, the Talanta Stadium, excellent, because rugby and football can have a... Especially rugby. Mm. Yeah, rugby and that's why I'm saying that, that track, they should... They, I, I, look, they should just say, you know what, let's take this, bite the bullet, no running track within the stadium. You can have something outside, but within the stadium, it is pure grass from the point of the last Apo Kokuta fans, yes. stand, yep. all the way until the other side. All grass. So that football and uh, football and rugby, yes. they use that to their exactly. to maximum. Because look at it this way, Okabi. It's going to be a multi-purpose facility as well, most likely. So it's like it's like a mini Kasarani. Exactly. So what will be happening is over and above the sporting events, you can have concerts there. Actually, I that's pa- in part of sustainability. Yes. Like find a way. Tottenham Stadium is one of the most 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 uh, what's the word? Not productive is the wrong word yeah. to use, but it's big income generating revenue generating stadiums in the world they have a thousand things they do with it because they built it thinking that way yeah. it's not just the football games it's the concerts it's american football so you do the same thing you can still do your benihin uh, concerts at yes. these stadiums yeah. you just have to have a smart way we'll of it. preserving the and there's turf. Not, exactly there's not jeopardize it and yes you see, we've been privileged to travel uh, mm. covering major sporting events I'm waiting for the day whereby I'll say, you know what, Wakabi, a uh, weekend, we go and do a stadium tour mm. of the Talanta Sports City. So you're going there, there's a lot of activities happening. You're going to look at the stadium, you're taking photos, they have merchandise, you can sell official merch. So it reaches a point where it becomes an ecosystem. Yes. Because Wakabi, I don't want it that it's only active on weekends. Where it look at it on Tuesday is Iko to Apo. And it's, it's a grand establishment, Wakabi. That's yeah. a, that's, that, uh, that skyline around, around that area because I pass by that area uh, often, mm. that tree line, and then you're having such a major establishment like that. Because one thing people forget, Wakabi, a stadium going up, it's almost like 20 stories high. Yes. So, the security issues as well. Because now what happens? The, the beauty of it, it will help with, because, because Gando or Jamhur is not really like Kasarani. Yeah? Mm. Already, uh, the road is dual all the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, from town, all the, the road is dual all the way until you get to Karen. So already there's a lot of activity. Uh, the race course is not far away. There's already a bit of activity, so it will further I- get the place open and going, yeah. which is great. I just, I just would like us to figure out how to do st- sustainability. Mm-hmm. First of all, excellent that we have a stadium. The last was built before I was in primary school, so yeah. it would be good to have another stadium. Old. Exactly. So let's change. Let's have a stadium. Fantastic. Let's change. Let's have this fun. Let's do all those things. But when we finish, let's find a way of keeping them going. And I like the fact that there's so many things that have been said and promised about stadiums in this country, and a lot, there's a lot of things that have been said. I just hope we see this one through. Hope Kenya hosts Afcon 2027. I, personally, I love the design. Um, it's it reminds me of uh, which stadium is it? The Beijing one, kinda. 
mm. to some extent. The, the bird's nest. Oh, there are uh, Lyon's stadiums. There are there are Lyon stadium, in, I mm. think, in in, uh, in, in, ba- in Munich. In Munich, there's another one I, I realized in 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 Monaco. Yes, sorry, in looks, Nice. In Nice, that looks the same. Yes, that looks almost the same. It's also called a Lyon's. So I think, and then another thing, actually, Wakabi, why can't you also be bold enough and this time say, as much as it's called Talanta Sports City. Mm. If a sponsor says they want to take it up, why not? No, of course, that, that should happen. That's that, something that, that, because I remember the nonsense that happened many years back with the Nyayo with Nyayo. And, Nyayo and Coca-Cola. And now we bangled such a deal. Who would yeah. have known where the stadium would have been now? Yeah, but we were legacy. Yapana, Akuna. Because Wakabi, let me tell you, Jinago Kwapo, toilets are messed up, the playing surface is a rubbish, legacy. the track is a mess, the swimming pool is a pond. Legacy. Anyway, uh, so that we finish this conversation on stadiums. Uh, even our very own city yeah, my here finally there might be something happening there. I have waited. Yeah, city, oh city, god, city, city, city stadium has been now. closed for what, a decade. I think it's 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 long overdue. I, I even stopped the fight of calling it Joker Denge. I I mm. I have given up the fight so long as it's open. Yeah, I just hope it gets and done. Yeah, I just hope it gets done. Uh, I, so now the governor speak about it. I hope he gets it going. My 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 view would be also that even whoever is making these facilities and revamping them, let's let's be very intentional about ensuring that we have adequate facilities for fans especially for going to the washroom the, the facilities are there it's more the water that we, we that, worry that's about that's one yes yes like like kasarani is, was built really okay for a stadium that, that was were, built many years ago like it was a two. no they, they, here's the thing i think those are those those are basics we should deal with they should be there like they should be done because like city stadium the old school city but then the old school city stadium is really 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 old Though I love it, by the way. I, I hope they keep the same size. Again, don't make it bigger, same size. In fact, now you talk about the track, please remove the track at City Stadium. Yeah. Because it has a whole line all around. Yes, remove it. Bring fans right next. Yeah. Uh, that one that one I agree with you 100%. It's like a video that my friends come out. It's like South America. Yeah. It's okay. I, I really miss City Stadium. I hope City Stadium is up and running ahead of all. Even when we did the AFCON bid, I really was hoping... City Stadium would be part of it because I think it's the home of Kenyan football. It's that is where Kenyan football started. That's the home, mm. City Stadium. So you can call it Joker Denge, you can put his statue. I agree. I I I accept. I agree. I think it's Kogalo's home ground. It should not have anything to do with the FC mm. Leopards. But I I I accept to have him so long as you have people playing football there. I hope by the end of 2027, Kenya has at least three, four really good places you can play football in. Yeah. City Stadium. And remember, there's also Bukungo that's being done yes. for Chan. Yes. So that is a because personally, you think we will redo it to include what was by Chan? I'm being optimistic, I'm ah, cautiously okay. optimistic, because how I'm looking at it is this way, Wakabi. I want a point whereby we are going to watch a Kenya Cup game, especially Cabras playing KCB at in Bukungo. a stadium of note. Not yeah. that the uh, bouldering is good, but okay, it's, it's basic, but. I want us to go and watch a game at Bukungu, mm. a brass playing against a big team. You can imagine the energy. Yeah, with a nice good stadium. Yes. It's a nice good stadium. Yeah, because what can be, most of these players, you know the things you fail to appreciate is once you have stopped, once you have played in your, your, your training and car and all that, okay, via the national jersey, when you're going to compete, you're not playing in stadiums in Akasjuyaj, you're playing in international level standards.